Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're wiring in uh, a trailer plug, just the old school style, into a caravan. What year? Uh, 2009. Uh, basically this wiring is good for anything that has a stop turn bulb. Uh, the only time you need a little box for controlling it is if you have a separate stop light and a separate turn signal because it'll communicate back and then all your lights will do weird things you don't want it to do. So, um, but in this case, we've got just one bulb for stop and turn and one bulb for, or a separate element for the parking lot. So simple and easy. Uh, the plug and play system's a little more expensive. So we got uh, a unit for a trailer. We got this wire plus the other trailer wire. Um, and we're just gonna wire it into the lights. The uh, reason for this is uh, they're wanting to add one of these strip lights in for the turn stop just for safety. So it plugs in to a wiring system, makes it easier so you can unplug it and move around if you need to. So what we're doing is we're going to try to get that done. Yeah, it can plug right in there. I'm just trying to remember because I know the back gets all clouded up with um, snow. Like this is usually all covered in snow and slush by the time you get home from anywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's up here. Yeah. Not so much here. So I don't know. I mean, it'd be the easiest place for you to put that for sure. Can we see the top of it one more time? Like what it would look like at the top? Yeah. Sorry. Man. <laughs> well, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Not good. Hey, I want to, I'm just getting the wires in the right place. You guys. My wife just figured out how to stick this on. No problem. <laughs> so here I can just run it. Like, I think this would be better now. You have to lay down and stick to your skin. Is it interesting on the corner though? Yeah. And then it's feeling too frozen. Glasses, it's not long enough for the glass. Yeah, it's too long for me here. The glass is too long and you need to go here and you're not. Yeah, it's like way overhanging. Yeah. So I guess down there would be the best. This would be the worst place. For one, it's yeah. too long. And two, as you say, that's where all your snow gets. Yeah. So if you were to put it down here, that's probably your best bet. And the only place you've got problems is where this little indent is on either side. That's the only spot you're going to have to worry about making sure you're zip tied or you're going to it in somehow. Yeah. All right. Well, let's I'd, do that. I'd say that's probably your best bet. It still has a squeeze on it. It's an old one, this one, eh? <laughs> oh, very loud. Very cool little version on that. That's not an impact. Now I'm not having this hanging around on us. Set that down. Safe. Alright. Let's see if I can feel where that goes through or not. Oh, there we go. Alright. So these have a little uh, area here for putting wires in. So it goes through and it actually comes out. I don't know if you can see my finger wire going down in there. Anyways, so that's going to work. We'll get our wires out there to that side. Now, with this, we can go two wires to the one side and one to the other.
usual rule of thumb is you're running brown is brown wire is your ground yellow is your turn for drivers green is your turn signal for the passenger side now this one will probably have to extend to get across under here over to the other side but we'll uh, we'll deal with that one in a few minutes we'll get this through and hooked up there. Uh -huh. there we are There we go. Now this is our light. One of these is our turn signal and one of these is our marker light. So we need to find out which one's which. You want me to go turn the car on, sit up there, and then you can yell at me? Yep. Okay. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, throw on your parking lights. No, no. Okay, hang on a second. We're gonna we're gonna cheat here if I can. Mm. If I can. Back as that goes. Should unplug. Doesn't want to unplug. Okay, don't want to break anything. <laughs> Being older, might not want to do that. There we go. Okay. All right. I found power there a second ago. There we go. Okay, so blue is that. All right, turn that off and throw your four ways on. There we go. Okay, so green and white is our turn, blue is our marker. All right. Okay, we're good. Went on my hand a lot easier. Apparently, my uh, camera person had the strap on their hand. Anyways. <laughs> By the way, this is Dave. <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> this is uh, his caravan. We're trying to do this up for him. So, um, anyways, as I said, we've got these isolated now, so we know this one is marker and this one is turn. So, y'all already know Hayden, anyways. So, <laughs> now the wiring kit comes with all these little extras, wire clips, hooks, everything we need. So we need these two wire taps, which makes life so much easier. Do you happen to have a pair of regular pliers? Like snips? No, just pliers. Yeah. Yeah, just, just channels. Yeah, it's just standard. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're on limited tools of our own because we're here at Dave's. So. We're using his stuff. <laughs> so I'll get these started. So, brown marker. Let me show that together like that. You just needed to squish these together. Make sure both your wires are down in there tight. And yank. Done. One side. Now for the marker. I always stagger these a bit because then they, you know, you got room if you want to tape them or whatever. If you put them like this, you end up with a big ball. So I try to stagger them a bit so that 
you don't have that if you do need to or decide to tape it up. Now if you want to, you can put electric grease in there ahead of time. You don't have to, but you can. So there we go. Those two taken care of. We can put this light back in. I'll get them to do a quick test, actually make sure everything's still working before we put that back together. Mm -hmm. off? When you were talking about your tattoo? Or did you have it off when you were talking about your tattoo? Or on? <laughs> oh, I think it was off. <laughs> okay, this one's wanting to be a little more I'm stubborn. Just wanting to catch pretty much anything with it. Aha. And then we can decide what the fuck we want to do with it afterwards. See, these plug in to these little sockets. That's what keeps your lighting. Yeah, Alright. This will be our test subject. <laughs> yeah. Just throw your uh, four ways on again for a second. Okay, and then your turn, or your uh, parking light. Take the four ways off? Yep. Okay, so, one second here. Just for shits and giggles. Okay, parking lot. Oh yeah, we don't have a ground yet. The system needs requires a ground. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Ta da. That lights up. Okay. Alright, now we gotta figure out where we're going to get ourselves some ground for this little thing so that we can continue on. Here. There's your parking lot. Oh, nice. So, now turn on your four ways. You That's good. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. we only have one side hooked up. Yeah, four ways hooked up. All right, nothing good so far. Okay, now that everything's tested, got our light back in, we're all good there. We tested the bars lighting up on one side, we still got to run the green wire over to the other side. We'll have to extend it, as it is not long enough to make it all the way to our other light. So we're coming up, coming up a little bit short. So that's okay because the package came with the trailer side of things because it's cheaper to buy it that way. So we'll just steal one of the wires off of here and uh, at the other end, wherever it is. Aha, there we go. We'll steal a little bit off of there and that'll make everything work. Okay. Alright, on this side, the uh, little flap wasn't cut and as you can see where my arm is uh, it's not exactly quite as easy to get at because of the panel but uh, we did get through we now have a rope or wire through <laughs> yeah. on your arm now. <laughs> yeah. but we got it through so now we can tap in and get that straightened out so That did not work. We missed. If that happens to you, don't panic. What happened? We missed the particular uh, wire I was after. Luckily, with these things, they do reopen. So you can uh, just have to line it back up later if you need to. Or. Just push this back up so it comes back out a bit. There we go. Keep everything lined up. This one back in here. Uh, I'm gonna put it around this way. Seem to work better that way. Line that up approximately. And then get that one in there. 
some of the ones I have actually drop right through. These ones have the cap, terminating cap on the end, which is nice. Wires again, please. And let's see. All right. There, together this time. Okay, we're going to strip the end and double check, make sure we've got power there. This one. Okay, do you want to hit those four ways again? There we go. All right. So we got our wire tapped in into this side. We go through our little hole. We're coming behind our panels, which is perfect, so I can hide the wires across, and we're good. All right, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> so now we can put this lens back in, uh, so we don't bump it, raise it. <laughs> sand in your lights than you do in your... Come on. Uh, all right. All right. some consideration they're looking at putting this on the bumper which will be better so I need to try and incorporate this plug hidden and then I'm just going to plug in and put the panel back on so we're going to try to run all these wires inside from here So what I'm going to do is get it so that this is inside here for you. Yeah. And then when you come up from here, however you, however you decide to tuck in, I'd probably just pull this out a bit, come under it, under this edge, and then you can go in. Okay. And then you're plugging in. You mean like under the edge? Yeah. 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 Come out here? Yeah. yeah. You can you pull this forward a bit. Let's come forward. I know because they're already kept off. Yeah. So you can come in under this. Oh, and in there. Okay. What do you have to do that? I already wanted to. There we go. And then that can be tucked in all along under all this. So it's not seen. I connect those two together in a second. And bada bing. Bing's the recording. <laughs> I usually fold them over. Uh, you don't have to, but if I've got the room, I do that because I find then it gets more into the connectors, and then they get a better, um, just a, a better connection. <laughs> so if your wire's a little skinnier than your insert, just means you get a nicer, nicer draw from it. I'm just going to run a little bit of tape over this just for argument's sake in case it were to get damp. We are in Ontario. We do have snow, slush, and all that other beautiful stuff come winter time. So 
little preventative maintenance will not hurt. There we go. I'll keep that from getting water damage to it in any way. Okay, I'll pull that back because we got the room here. There you go. Pull, pull, pull. Finished. Okay, now I gotta get this to clip back together. Which was a burger to get apart, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Yes, that was cheating. Normally you would uh, take that apart a little differently, but in our case, we were able to do it that way. Oh, <laughs> went too far. There we go. All back together again. Can't tell we were messing with it. Right. Now we just got to deal with our ground wire. Uh, but... Uh, for test purposes, you want to throw the four ways on again, and we'll see what it, see if our little bar here lights up or not. Yeah, put that back in there. Light this out a little more. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is not working. Oh yeah, no ground. <laughs> Once we get a ground. There we go. Everything's working. You Good. Do a turn signal test and all that stuff, brake light? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's that working? Okay. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. Parking lights. Yep. Awesome. Everything's working. All right. The kit actually came with a little terminal for the ground wire. So we're actually going to use that. We're going to try to get uh, a hole and screw it in so we get better, better ground. These are always so much fun. <laughs> the open ones like this? They're not pre they're not pre bent in any way, so you kinda have to get them to start to hold in a little ahead of time. I find it just makes it easier. Because otherwise you're kind of fighting it. And you're trying to hold the wire in there and then it's not wanting to crush down and you're like can't pop my knuckles, and if I do, it feels really weird. If I finally get them to. Yeah, it calls me down. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Alright. That was fun. We finally got success. Now we're going to try to find the hole. Where did I drill the hole? There it is. Ground. Alright. You hit me with that. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So. Now that is all incorporated hiding. And you can tuck that up in there. However you wish. Alright. Cool. So. so um, do you want me to help you run that through here? Yeah. That would be awesome. Okay. Just. I'm going to hold that there so we have our flash nuts. 
I'm going to bring this up and through here. I'm going to make sure you get that folder picked out. I was, I was thinking like tucking yep. it right up in that corner. Yep. Yeah. Whatever you want. That work for you there? Yep. Okay. I'm going to fold this as much as possible so we're not trying to cut the letters with anything. Try to run that through to a separate wire and everything. Um, I wouldn't worry about it right now. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's something you could add later without being like, too much of a uh, harassment by any means. Yeah. There you go. Now pull the tape. Cut. There, there. There we go. Then when you plug in, this might as well be your plug in because I'm going to put this on after long. Yeah. Plug it in. There you go. We're done. That tucks up in there so you can move around if you need to. All your other stuff can get back in there. And Do you think I should even bother carrying your stuff? We're yeah. Gonna, we're going to be getting CAA. I'd still carry it. I mean, the uh, the tire hasn't been pulled out, partly since it's been manufactured. Uh, yeah. Nothing else to tie in around. It's handy. So, oh, okay. Shh. Didn't say that. So, I bring candy for <laughs> So, ah. Uh, well, all right. Okay. So. There you go. Awesome. Thanks, man. Alright. So that's... Alright. Overview. Uh, took out the lights, got them back in. Torques are there and there. Then they just pop out. There's little snips. Don't twist. Pull outwards. We went through here to the access panel to wire in. We did most of our wiring off of this light. Again, same thing. Two torques. Pull the light forward because of the tabs. You don't want to break them. We ran all the wires inside the compartment, underneath here, through. We ran the one extra wire into this light from there. This one we had to cut a little slot because it wasn't already pre-done, but the same same thing was in there. So that's all wired up. Uh, I'm going to leave this for Dave. He's going to attach this across the bottom of the bumper here. So he's got the extra safety, and hopefully people see him when he's hitting the brakes. So other than that... Anything else? Thanks, Todd. You did an awesome job, buddy. <laughs> Check it Thanks. out. Alrighty, guys. Thank you. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps somebody else out. As I say, this is on a caravan, but the process is the same on a pickup truck. Anything that has a stop turn signal is one light bulb. You're good to go. All right? See you next video.